Align his points located at minus 3, 5, and 4a. What is the value of a if the slope is minus 2? Solve this question both graphically and algebraically. First we'll solve this graphically. Plot the known point, minus 3, 5. Use the slope to find more points on the line. Even though we don't know the y value of the point 4a, we do know the x value is 4. So we're looking for a point with an x value of 4. The y value of that point will be a. Follow the slope down 2 and right 1 to get another point on the line. The x value of this point is minus 2, but we need a point with an x value of 4. Let's keep going. If we follow the slope again, we get a point with an x value of minus 1. This still isn't the point we're looking for. Let's speed things up by plotting all of the points we can get using the slope. The point we are looking for is 4 minus 9, so the value of a is minus 9. Now we'll solve this algebraically. We'll start with the slope formula. Plug in the slope and point values. Clean up the double signs. Cross multiply. The answer is a equals minus 9. This is the same result we obtained solving this graphically. Now we'll move on to part b. A line has points located at a3 and 2, 9. What is the value of a if the slope is 3 over 5? Solve this question both graphically and algebraically. First we'll solve this graphically. Plot the known point at 2, 9. Use the slope to plot more points on the line. We can get two more points on this grid. Draw a line through them. Even though we don't know the x value of a3, we do know the y value is 3. So when we find a point with a y value of 3, the x value will be a. The point minus 8, 3 has a y value of 3. The value of a is minus 8. Now we'll solve this algebraically. Start with the slope formula. Plug in the slope and point values. 9 minus 3 is 6. Cross multiply to get 3 times 2 minus a equals 30. Divide both sides by 3 to isolate the binomial containing a. This gives us 2 minus a equals 10. Bring 2 across the equals to get minus a equals 8. Divide both sides by minus 1. The answer is a equals minus 8. This is the same result we obtained earlier when we solved graphically.